If you pay attention to the media these days, they'll have you believe that Arabs and Jews in Israel fight all the time. They like to throw around some big terms about discrimination, segregation, and such. But let me tell you a story about Arab and Jewish relationships in real life during the war. In the city of Nazareth in the Galilee, yes, that Nazareth, what good can come out of Nazareth, Nazareth? There's an Arabic church led by an Arabic pastor. There's a lot of Arabic churches in the area, and this pastor knows all the other Arabic pastors around, and he kind of has to defend himself all the time because his ministry is to everybody, not just the Arabs in the area, but also to the Jews, which a lot of the times raises questions in the community what he's doing this for. On Jewish holidays, he reaches out to the Jewish families in the area to help them out. On Christmas, he dresses up as Santa, and he goes out into the main square in Nazareth where there's a big Christmas tree, and he and his team hand out a bunch of presents to the kids out there. And on Muslim holidays, there's plenty of Muslims that he can reach out to. And every one of those looks at him suspiciously like, why are you doing this? The Arabs criticize him. The Jews may get a little suspicious. A lot of the Christians that he reaches out to are immigrants, mostly Russian speakers. So they're not used to this kind of approach either. But amidst all these questions, it gets a lot of work done. Him and his team, they're always busy. They have a whole warehouse for anybody who needs it in the community. Families that are low on cash. New immigrants that still haven't found steady employment. And just anybody who needs it, they can come to this warehouse and there's always a steady supply of fresh clothing that they can pick for free and take back home to their kids and also sign up and receive a monthly food package. Then there's the holidays that I mentioned and there's a special giveaway and he invites a bunch of people and everybody takes home a gift and it's packaged in a box with a logo of the church and a message from the Bible. Jesus went about doing good deeds, go and do likewise. Pretty simple, right? And that actually is the key to peaceful living. It's not about taking sides. It's not about proving yourself right and proving everybody else wrong. It's about doing good. And this pastor and his church, that's what they do. And they create peace in the community. Am I saying that all of Jewish and Arab relations are like that? Of course not. If they were like that, then we wouldn't have a war. And that's the takeaway. As cliche and as simplistic as it sounds, doing good to everybody around you will make for a peaceful life. I'm just going to leave it at that. That's the story for today. Come back tomorrow. I'll tell you another one.